All right, this could be the one. Or it could be something even more fun. Could be an Ackmanson Gambit. Let's go. All right, okay, my full attention. You have my full undivided attention. Okay. Why are you playing so fast? I get it. You booked up on anti nackmanson theory. And you have uncovered that you should decline with the knight and be up an extra pawn. But how deep did you study? We actually played a game in this very line very recently that will be on the Vampire Chicken channel in like a couple days. Or, you know, if this is a video, you'll be seeing that other... Like weeks ago, you saw that other video. Uh, but... It went like really well. I've had not like a lot of problems in this line. It's kind of nice because you can trade like literally whatever. Any combination of trades is usually fine. I could trade a knight for a bishop. Gives me this guy. Can I just take a pawn? Because I'm on the queen. Oh, he's trying to do some. You're trying to do some stuff, huh? Huh. Okay. I don't suspect this is the way. I'll just make this trade and then protect my pawn. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of which square I want to be on. I guess this is the most active. And now we've got the pawn back. He sacks a pawn cuz he wants to bring a rook over. At some point you always need to play h3. So I'm going to do it now. And this shouldn't be bad at all. My queen is actually, like, more active than his queen. His rook is going to come in. So I just need to decide how I want to do this. Okay, I'll even, I'll oppose your rook. I'll even take this guy. Okay. And let's see. Usually this is a good idea. If I can get a pawn all the way to a6, it's probably very useful. My queen will keep an eye on that. I'll now just gain a bunch of space on the king side. And my queen actually ends up being more active than the opponent's queen. At some point, so I have everything kind of defended. I can probably bring this up. Does he have some check in here? Hmm. How to activate. If I ever move my rook up, there's a check and then potentially another check here, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. I like where my queen is. But maybe I want her to be able to defend against these checks in the future. So I'm still keeping an eye on this for now, while also being able to potentially bring my rook in. And if his rook ever moves, I take this pawn. Now I attack this pawn. I protect that other stuff. He weakens his side of the board. So I should be able to threaten to come in this way because he's moved all the pawns in front of the king. Look, I haven't won very many games today, but this, the Nackmanson? Go ahead and decline it. Be one pawn up. <laughs> what do I care? It's not as, like, problematic as people make it out to be. And I think initially the reason that the Nackmanson became less popular was this line. But it's not really a huge problem. I'll keep the pressure on the king. Get the rook involved. So I have to be careful with the back rank. But wait. Okay, wait, this splendors... I mean, this at least gives the queen away. I don't know. I don't see the mate. I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to go here. And that's good enough for me. Let's call it a day. Okay. <laughs> that's fine with me. Knack, Vincent Gambit! Wait, we actually played an incredible game today. And this is... I mean, a lot of people... I think this is kind of the reason the Knack Vincent became unpopular was this exact line. We could temporarily... We, let's take a small break from uh, our run here, if we could figure out how. Let's take a small break from our Wing Gambit trap run. I want to take a quick look at this. And this is kind of like most people have decided, or at least at some point, 
that this is the way to go. And we followed basically the main thing that always happens. Nobody ever castles allowing me to use my super deep chessable course prep with D5. It followed by H4 and a bunch of fun stuff. But this, you get this all the time. The idea is you take, you're going here, you're bringing the queen out, you're making trades, and it doesn't really matter what minor pieces are coming off the board. You can even see here, it's either a very small advantage for white or it's like equal. This is not a problem. <laughs> Let's see how well I played though. Uh, I did take the pawn and then I just gave this check. This all is probably fine. Queen to c5 and suddenly I'm the one that's more active. So I thought this was great. This was incredible. What was I meant to play here? I didn't bring my rook in yet. I was a little bit worried that he would also go for counterplay. I mean, I guess it's, I mean, a computer can figure out why, but it's now just taking because this is maybe less of a threat. It is interesting. Maybe there's some way for me to go and be a little bit more active, but I just wanted to remove all of his possible threats. A4 is correct. My queen is just awesome. And yeah, I don't know. It was just kind of a cool game. At some point, like he gets stuck. It's not easy. He's got to just keep making random king and queen moves. Otherwise he drops a pawn. And after you drop this, he's in a lot of trouble. So we tried to go in this way and okay, we all kind of saw what happened. A series of checks and eventually, uh, is there a mate? No, you just win the queen. It's simple stuff. And that's the Nackmanson Gambit. Don't be worried if they decline it. And if you like it, subscribe.